Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're just gonna talk about good old-fashioned stylus control. Because if you wanna do line art, or any drawing using your stylus, you gotta be able to tell your muscles what to do. You think of a shape, and then you need to communicate it onto the paper. Well, sometimes the learning curve on using a stylus is actually sort of challenging. So for that reason, I've created this worksheet right here. And what we're gonna be doing is just drawing parallel lines on top of these guides. Now, some of them might be easy for you to hit with the sort of normal orientation of your tablet. And you can erase away a little beyond that finish line there. But some of them might be at angles that are just kind of challenging for you to contort yourself into. So for that, I would really encourage you to use the rotate canvas feature here, which you can see on your toolbar. I've set mine to a keyboard shortcut so I can combine it with the hand tool to pan my document, the zoom tool to zoom in and out, and then escape recenters the rotation. And with these three things, it's almost like I'm just fluidly moving the paper around my desk. And in doing so, I can line these up into an appropriate orientation, and then drawing the lines is much easier for me. Now you see sometimes here I am going beyond the end zone and then erasing away. And the reason for that is Sometimes it's hard to get your line to stop confidently. So you might want to try your hardest to end at this end zone, but then it sort of fades out. Well, if you want your line to look smooth and consistently dark the whole way, sometimes drawing past it and then erasing away gives you that nice clean ending that you're looking for. Again, that only really works if you're doing layers. If I were working on a flat canvas, that'd be harder to do. But when I was taught to do inking for comic books, you actually do a lot of this. You would draw your inked line past where you want it to, and then you'd use whiteout to erase away. Now, of course, in Photoshop, we don't need to use whiteout, and we have a much cleaner erasing. So that can be a valid technique. But this is one of those skills that is not exciting or sexy, but is totally necessary. Teaching yourself to just be able to make confident lines using your stylus is absolutely fundamental. You're not gonna be able to do complex paintings if you can't make a straight line. So something like this could be a nice way to start your day. Think of it as a warm up, Or you could just do a few of these drills every now and then just to kinda of get back in the habit of it. You will get better over time. Your results are probably not gonna look great at the beginning, but it's definitely worth practicing. So if you wanna give this a try, I've included it at the bottom of the post. And I think it can help you improve your line work confidence. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.